How many manga box sets or too many manga box sets? I don't know, I got bit by the manga box set bug. So, let's take a look at this huge manga haul together. Welcome back all you mentees, Uncanny Omar here. And for the last few months, well, for the last few months, I've been acquiring a lot of manga. This is part one of my huge manga haul. I'll be doing another part here in the next week or so. But, yes, I've been acquiring a lot of manga. I got bit by the manga box set bug. So, you're probably asking yourself, Omar, didn't I already see these books in your tour? Don't you already have them? Did you double dip and get some box sets? You're damn right I did, because I'm an idiot. Uh, it's what I do. So, let's get this box cutter and open some of these up together. First up is Shaman King, volumes two and three of the Omnibus, continuing reprinting Shaman King in Omnibus format. So yes, I did get this one from Amazon and let me tell you, they did hear about that. Oh my gosh, come on. How are you gonna send it in a freaking box without any bubble wrap or anything? Oh wait, it's Amazon. Uh -huh. <laughs> I knew, but it was such a good deal. So anyway, uh, this is Shaman King. Yes, the series has been previously printed here in America before um, and it is now being reprinted. A lot of those early volumes of the single volumes, the Tonka Bonds, are completely out of print. So to me, I think this is the most cost effective and easiest way to collect them. I used to have a bunch of these and for some reason I sold them off. So I wanted to start getting them again because I really enjoyed the artwork in this. I love the story. It was such a cute story. I don't know. It, it was geared more towards kids, but there was just something lovable and appealing about this particular series. So yes, this does collect ish or volumes of the Tonka Bond 4, 5, and 6. So this is known as Volume 2 of the Omnibus. It's a little confusing because you don't see Omnibus Volume 2 anywhere. But that's the way that they have it listed. Here, let's look at Volume 3. When you're looking at the catalog. The other thing I noticed about these, God, I haven't read these in years, is that the paper quality. So this is much like Viz's 3-in-1 manga. Like they've done 3-in-1 for uh, Bleach. They've done 3-in-1 for One Piece. They've done 3-in-1 for Naruto. But the difference is that the paper quality that Kodansha is using seems to be a little bit thicker than what Viz was using. So Viz used this really thin paper because these are some thick books that you're putting together with, you know, a soft cover spine. So, I mean, the spine, more than likely, it's going to crease over time. But, yeah, I'm okay with that. By the way, the spines will connect into one wonderful picture when it's all over. And I don't know if that's going to bother me enough to go get another one or not. But anyway... Uh, the paper quality, yeah. It's a little bit thicker than what Viz uses. So I remember in early printings of some of their 3 and ones Viz, you could see the other page. With, like, there's, <laughs> you didn't need lighting on it. You didn't need LED lighting pointing at the book. It was just if you were reading it out in the sunlight. But yes, uh, these right here retail for $19.99. And like I said, I think it's the best way to collect this particular series. A non-cost-effective way of rebuying a series, however is the hardcovers of Chobits. I mean, they are beautiful though. But I've already owned these in single Tonka Bonds from Tokyo Pop, and then I upgraded to these Dark Horse editions. But the dimensions of these are bigger than the Dark Horse Omnibus editions, and these are thick. So this volume right here is really volumes three and four. So what is this? What, what, what is Chobits? Um, well, it's a clamp series, and you all know how I feel about clamp if you've been watching the channel for a while. They're some of my favorite creators. All four ladies, I follow all their work. So this does collect all the color drawings that were included in the original release of this. The paper quality is this nice matte paper. It's kind of like the paper that they use in the Berserk Deluxe Editions. And that is one of my things about these particular hardcovers is that I wish they were just a little bit bigger. Uh, of course, I'd be paying $50, but you know, these are $24.99 and these are printed uh, by Kodansha. And I'm not sure exactly how much of Clamp they own the rights to. I don't know exactly what Dark Horse held on to. Uh, but I do know that, you know, they're doing this. They're doing the hardcovers of Cardcaptor Sakura, which I'm still hoping that they'll do a box set. But there's so much Clamp out there. Yeah, these are beautiful. I love the feel of the paper. Um, there's so much Clamp out there that I kind of wish that they would just go ahead and buy the rights up to everything Clamp, including the unfinished X1999. Let's look at Volume 4. X1999, of course, being 
one of my favorite manga of all time. Top 20, as a matter of fact. So yes, all the previous colored pages that you've seen collected, for example, in the Omnibus editions here, they're all in these editions, these hardcover editions. And beautiful presentation with some of the best paper quality I've seen. Uh, I haven't read Chi in years. I was such a big fan of... Oh, sorry, Chobits. I don't know why I said Chi. Um, I was such a big fan of this. And Sumomo. Oh, there's some adorable characters. But yeah, let me know what your favorite Clamp series is in the comments down below. Now here's a series that keeps going in and out of print. I think Volume 4 just went out of print again. There was a small printing of it. But I ended up getting it from Right Stuff, I think. But it's the Flowers of Evil, the complete collection. So these were previously released by Vertical in smaller Tonkoban size. These right here. But then they decided to do these three in one and then the final volume two in one. So all these little Tonka bonds are now collected between four volumes of these perfect collections. I'm sorry, complete collections. And I think it's all a preference as to what you like. So this manga series is one that I don't hear a lot of people talk about. I think it's very underrated. It was one of my favorite reads uh, a couple of years ago when I started uh, reading them uh, in the smaller Tonka bond size. So I'm a big fan of Oshimi's artwork. I think he's got another book series that just came out but this all centers around this kid in middle school named Kasuga who has a fascination well he's a middle-aged kid you can probably guess as to what he's fascinated with but he does end up stealing in the first volume uh, one of his classmates gym clothes and then another classmate kind of uh, blackmails him into a contract so, I mean, it's a deep and dark stu uh, study of the human mind, I think, in just a, well, a perverse kind of way. But I love this kind of stuff. It's a break away from the norm to me. And, yeah, if you've not read it, you need to do yourself a favor. Either get them in complete collections or get them, yeah, that's enough of that because we don't want to spoil that, or get them in the smaller Tonkaban size. But this does finish out my volumes of, because I never got to read the ending. It's another reason why I stopped looking through there. Ubel Blatt. Ubel Blatt. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Oh, I know, it says something Blade. Um, but big shout out to my buddy, Philip, who sold me these. Um, and I ended up getting all 11 volumes. It was released in 22 volumes in Japan. Japan. In Tonkaban size. And then in America, they released, Yen Press released these and oversized hardcover or oversized format like this so it's like a two and one uh, releasing it with a volume zero first and then it went on to volume one so uh this is a complete blind buy i have no idea what this is about all i know is it's up my alley it's sword fantasy and of course <laughs> parental advisory so i think it's got a lot of sexual content in here um, a lot of nudity is from what I've seen flipping through here. Some of these books are sealed, so big shout out to my buddy Philip, man. I really appreciate that because I know for a long time some of these books have been out of print, so I haven't. I've been, this is a series that I wanted to check out. Let's look at another volume for a long time, and then for some reason, you know, just there's so much manga, just like there's so many books that I ended up forgetting about it. And. I went to go look a few months ago for a volume one or a volume zero, whichever started it, and they were all out of print, or most of the earlier volumes were out of print, volume nine was out of print, and if you know anything about manga, when these stupid things go out of print and there's no sign of them being reprinted, they go for a ton of money, especially in today's market, uh, because there's such a, f not really a FOMO mentality, I think it's more of a... You know, people are just now getting into physical editions of things more than they've ever had. That's why collected edition sales have gone up, as well as man manga sales are crazy. They can't keep anything in stock these days. Okay, we'll look at volume nine. But luckily for me, I made a comment on one of my videos, and Philip reached out to me going, Hey, man, I've got those books, and, you know, I've read some. They're not for me. If you want them, they're yours. So, again, that was really cool, man. You didn't have to do that, but I'm glad you did. Because, yeah, Record of Lotus War... That kind of stuff, that is all some of my favorite kind of manga. Vinland Saga, Vagabond, and of course, the greatest of all time, Berserk. So it looks like they do have the color uh, art in here too. Nice. So there we have all 11 volumes. And yes, yeah, some of these have been read. Some of them are not in the greatest condition. But to me, it doesn't matter. I'm going to be reading them. That's what counts. The content, right?
first box set I want to talk about is the Fairy Tale box set volume four. So I bought volume one of the box set because, by the way, all these box sets came in plastic. I've already opened them up to save time on this overview. Um, I bought the first one because I realized that they discontinued the big oversized versions of them. So they only did five of the fairy tale oversized version books, which are kind of like the size of the Kodansha uh, giant size Attack on Titan books, and I hope they haven't discontinued those. I, would, I know they're releasing an omnibus of them. Come on. Do not discontinue those big Colossus... What are they called? The Colossus size books? I love those books. But yeah, they discontinued these, sadly, and they went instead with the box set. And then I waited until Volume 3 was announced of the box set, box set Volume 3. And I was thinking, all right, well, I guess that's one way they're going to continue it. So I might as well sell these and end up getting these. Well, no, I think I actually ended up giving those away to uh, one of my daughter's friends. So I decided to go with the box set route. Which, you know, if they're going to go all the way through, I think there's going to be a total of six of these box sets. I'm not sure if they're going to do any of the Gaiden series or the spin-off series, rather. But this is the way that I think, you know, is it's the best possible way to collect them if you're not getting them in single volumes. Because some of the single volumes are out of print. And again, when they go out of print, it gets ridiculous. These box sets do come with a little sticker sheet that I will never use because I'm weird like that. Do you all keep this stuff intact, right? Nobody goes around and peels these. I remember when my wife got the Sailor Moon box sets, she started taking the stickers off and I was like, whoa, 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 what are you doing? You gotta keep that stuff in mint condition or at least in near mint. Ah, all right, let's talk about the bigger box sets. So we have Naruto and then Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. But let's do the Naruto box set first and focus on volume one of this box set. So here we have Masashi Kishimoto's first box set of Naruto here in America. And as I was saying, oh, here, let's look at the bottom. For those of you wondering what the bottom looks like, it's just the ISBN. Of course, the website to Naruto. Um, and as I was saying earlier, when these box sets go out of print, they get to be ridiculous amounts of money. So here, let's look. Here, is what it looks like but the thing is is that these keep going in and out of print so i caught this while it was still in print and it collects the first 27 volumes of the tonko bonds now these have already been released in america in this format each one for 9.99 unless you know you've been collecting them for a long time and you know that these were 7.99 when they first came out to america so originally printed in shonen jump and of course in japan but we did have a Shonen Jump magazine here for a while. I like this design. I, I know there was a limited edition, like, uh, wooden box set. But, you know, I think that's a, it's a little too much for me. I think this is good. Considering I already own these. <laughs> Not all of them. I, I think I'm still missing a few of the later volumes. So, hey, that's another way I can justify purchasing these. So this has the original Naruto storyline 1 through 27 collects what is known as naruto and then everything changes with the second box set but in this you also get an exclusive fold out poster wait 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 that's two-sided huh eh? worth it right and then an exclusive little booklet a little mini guide a shinobi mini guide that is probably about 10 pages oh i'm an idiot i'm reading it wrong it this also reads from right to left so this is probably about 14 pages worth of material. Much like the case of Fairy Tale, there's no art in the back. And here we have Box Set Volume 2. Again, the bottom right there, just showcasing what it looks like. Uh, each of the box sets, by the way, retails for $174.99. But at Amazon and at Right Stuff and at Cheap Graphic Novels, they come to be a lot cheaper. So this one's a little bit different because while the other ones are vertical, this one is a horizontal design for box set number two. So this is what is known as, at least in the anime, as the Shippuden years. So when a Rudo is a little more mature and some time has passed, that's when all of this takes place. So the manga never changed title. It was always Naruto. So after volume 27, you just went on to read 28, and you just know the time passed. Just showcasing some more of Kishimoto's artwork. And his artwork does change. Not dramatically, but it does change. He does have some new 
assistants that help him out with backgrounds. But, I mean, this is all complete. All you need is the three box sets. So here's some more of that artwork. Some good guys have now turned evil. Some people are now dead. So a lot of things have changed in the world of Naruto. Now this box set looks like it comes with a little thicker book than Volume 1. And also a another poster here. It's a two-sided poster again. Can't imagine very many people pulling these out and hanging them up. No offense to anybody that does that, by the way. I'm not hating on anybody that does that. I just find myself not being able to do that. What is this? Oh, this is the pilot chapter. So this came out before Naruto was Naruto. So this was the stuff that hasn't been published. It was the prototype for the character of Naruto. That's what this is. So even the character of Naruto looks a little bit different there. Very cool that they included that in here. And another reason why I bought these is because, you know, when we move next year to another house, look, it's easier to carry, right? It's easier to carry than boxes, right? Right? I'm not crazy. Okay, maybe I am a little bit crazy. So it looks like for the third box set, they went back to these designs right here of the vertical look for them. And there's the three main characters of Naruto. On top of the box is just Naruto with the handle. Box set three. And then the bottom of the box set. This one retailing for a little bit more. This one I think is $185.99. So this doesn't collect Boruto, which I always thought was just a uh, fanfic, but apparently it, it was a real thing. I can't believe it's a real thing. Oh, this one actually has artwork on the inside right there. All right, now we're not going to flip too much through these volumes here because I don't want to spoil anything close to the ending for anybody. But I did want to showcase some of this artwork. Love how detailed his stuff got later on. And then we'll look at the extra little things it comes with. But I think, to me, it's presentation. And I'll be honest, you know, I'm just kidding around with why I justify buying these things. To me, I like things in the best possible format, and presentation goes a long way. I love the design of the box sets. I think they're awesome. Uh, I, you know, just see, putting them... I, I can imagine putting them... I don't know where people keep them, but putting them on a shelf, stacked up like Tetris pieces, I think would be a really cool way to do it. I don't know if people keep them on the floor. Of course, I probably will until we, we need more space. But here is the bonus story, The Road to Naruto, the movie. So I guess this is something that they gave away for the movie when it came out and premiered in Japan. But it's stuff that hasn't been previously collected. So I'm glad that it's here. So yes, this collects everything. All 72 volumes that ends the legacy of Naruto. And then, of course, there's a new legacy with Boruto, but that's not in here. Whether or not Boruto gets a box set, I don't know. Yes, I own the Viz Big Editions of Dragon Ball. But, again, presentation... Oh, man. That right there. I love that. That's the one thing that's missing from the Viz Big Editions is this right here. The connecting artwork. I've always been a fan of those. I ended up selling my set when I got the Viz Big, but then I decided to go back and get these. These are the classics. This is the stuff that's a lot different than Dragon Ball. Um, this is the stuff that's a lot funnier. It is action-packed. Nothing like Dragon Ball Z. Uh, did I just say this is a lot different than Dragon Ball? No, this is Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball Z is more action-packed. This is more about just training, having fun, and just goofy stories. Especially those first two volumes are ridiculous over the top. And this eventually evolves into Dragon Ball Z. So if you've not read these and only have watched the anime of Dragon Ball Z or have read Dragon Ball Z, these are written so different. They're so cute. Goku is such an innocent character. I mean, he is an innocent character throughout, and then later on becomes a badass. But these stories just are awesome. Now, I will say one thing about these compared to the Viz Big Edition is that the color pages are missing from the box set. Now, when you do have the Viz Big Edition, which is why I upgrade to those, and I'll probably keep both because I'm in weird like that, uh, you do get most of the color pages. So this also comes with a poster. I'm a big, big fan of this particular picture right here. Oh, I've always loved that drawing. It's so perfect. And in the back of that is when we get to the more serious Dragon Ball storylines, when we get to the tournaments. And I think that's what becomes fun for a lot of people. So in Japan, they completely change the story to make it more action-packed. So here we have 
a little booklet called the Colossal Key or Chi, depending on how you want to say it. And this one, interesting enough, reads left to right. So we had we do have an interview there with Akira Toriyama, the creator of Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z and his other stories. You know, I do need to do hidden gems for manga because these two, I hear, hardly hear anyone talk about them. Of course, Dr. Slump. Oh, it's so good. All right, let's get to the last box set. So the Dragon Ball box set was $139.99. And then this one here, which is a lot bigger, is $219.99. And of course, that is retail price. That tells you what this includes, the manga, all 26 volumes, double-sided poster and a collector's booklet love all the characters here there's the man right there future trunks android 16 goku and gohan and of course frieza's first form against goku and all the boos here against go tanks super saiyan 3 goku and gohan there's what the bottom looks like the bottom of the dragon ball looks very similar to this and opening it up now, these are out of print right now, but I'm sure they'll be reprinting them. My contact at Viz told me that they are going to do new printings of box sets. I'm not sure which ones they're going to start with, though. But I did end up getting this from my buddy Samir, who had already read them and just wanted to move on to something else. I think he's enjoying One Piece right now. And speaking of One Piece, you will see those box sets in my next big manga haul. So here we have the action-packed Dragon Ball Z the anime that changed everything, the manga that changed everything for so many people. Uh, you know, I always say this, that if it wasn't for Dragon Ball Z coming here, whether it was the Pioneer translation or the original translation of Dragon Ball, I don't think manga would have caught up as quick as it did. My man right there, Future Trunks, baby. So yes, this is a more serious take on Dragon Ball. The goofiness of Dragon Ball is gone. This is all about action pack, kicking asses and meeting stronger and stronger opponents. And yeah, all about Future Trunks being the damn man. That dude right there. Always been my favorite. And again, the color pages are there in the Viz Big Edition, but they're missing from these smaller Tonka Bonds. And they're also missing from the 3-in-1. Uh, so I will be doing a video later on on the channel on a, what I think is the best way to collect Dragon Ball Z in America, or the English translation, rather. Because some of it has been censored, and some of it hasn't. And for me, I've always been a fan of, you know, not censoring artwork or stories. The final volume of Dragon Ball Z. So unlike Naruto, where Naruto didn't move over to Shippuden in the manga, they did change the name of Dragon Ball to Dragon Ball Z in the manga officially. So let's look at these poster, or the poster that's double-sided. Frieza in his final form. Maybe. And yes! There we have Goku, Vegeta, and Super Saiyan Trunks, or Super Saiyan versions of them down here. Awesome. And then we have the Dragon Ball Know-It-All little booklet. I think this probably belongs in the other box set, and Samir just switched them up regardless. Cool. Uh, I think, but it does have some Dragon Ball, I mean, it kicks off with Dragon Ball Z artwork. I'm talking about Dragon Ball Z. I don't know. So if you own these new, let me know if this is where this booklet belongs or if it belongs in the Dragon Ball, because I just see the Goku there, a young Goku. But anyway, that, as they say, is that. If you're interested in purchasing some of these books, check out our sponsor. This episode is sponsored by CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online home for brand new graphic novels and collected editions up to 50% off cover price. They pride themselves on packaging your books so they arrive safely in an excellent condition as well as prompt and helpful service. Check out the bargain deals for up to 90% off cover price. CGN is excited to announce that they are now taking pre-orders. They're making it easier for you to ensure that you don't miss out on the hottest releases. CGN is currently running a special promotion for your mentees. If you're a first time customer, let them know that you were referred by near mint condition at the check out and you'll receive a credit for free shipping on your next order. This promotion is valid for U.S. customers only. Cheap Graphic Novels, your source for the hottest books with a kind of deep discount and quality shipping and customer service that will keep you coming back for more. And that is part one of my huge manga haul. I'll be doing a part two again here in the next couple of weeks. So if you haven't subscribed, think about subscribing. Hit that like button and don't forget to ring that bell for notifications to let you know when our videos are going live. All that helps with our YouTube algorithm and our channel keep growing. Thank you all so much for watching. And more importantly, everyone, please stay healthy, stay safe, and let me know if I'm an idiot for double dipping into these box sets. What is wrong with me? Uh, I'm not alone, right? I'm sure some of you all, right? It, I mean, it makes sense, right? It's easier to move. So when we get to moving time, all we gotta do is pick up a handle here and there, right? That's how I justify it to my wife. 
Thank you all, and stay healthy, stay safe, much love.